Looks like tonight we have some invited guests. <laughs> we have, uh, the first time we've done this, this is crawfish that we got at Kroger today. They are alive. We got, how much is this? About uh, one pound, and a half pounds? Pound, pound and three quarters. Pound and three quarters. And we got this recipe from the guy at Kroger and we tasted one there and just thought it was absolutely magnificent. So that's what we're doing today. What we've got here is a five quart pot. We're sort of making a stock. It's got a few ribs of celery. It's got uh, one onion cut. About, about a, uh, a half a teaspoon of cayenne, one bag of the Zatarain's crab boil, one bay leaf, half a lemon, generous amount of salt. I'm gonna say a tablespoon of salt. And a nice bit of the Tabasco hot sauce. And this is what we are going to boil um, our lovely, wonderful mud bugs in. Okay, time's up. It's been approximately how long? Uh, about 15 minutes. Okay, and look how dark that looks. That looks wonderful. So basically we just wanted to make sure that all of the flavor got out of that Zataran pouch that and, you got. And the onion and the lemon and the celery. Yes, and the bay, the bay leaf. And the bay leaf. I, I, you know, recently I heard someone say, you know, why would you add a bay leaf? Is this a joke? You know, they thought that, you know, it really wasn't, you know, important. Oh, what no. is, <laughs> oh no. The, the, the bay leaf is, is so key to all these little broths. I mean, I highly recommend it. Even, even if you're doing a quick sauce, um, it, it's just a good idea to have a bay leaf in there. Okay, so what you're doing now is pulling out basically everything that you made the stock, or the, the, the boil, with, the yes. boil, yes. Um, and then we're going to put our little friends. They try, a couple of them tried to escape. We had to put, hold them down a little bit. Um, and these are alive, so don't. I wouldn't recommend. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend buying these not active. So these guys are crawling and crittering. Um, and we, when we tasted them this afternoon, neither one of us had really tasted them and our friends had criticized us for ha not having done so. And my thought was, well, it's you call them mud bugs and crayfish and crawdads and, oh wait, hang on, this guy's getting out. Get back in here. Sorry. Okay, hang on, let's weigh this guy down again. Um, and, and the question was, you know, why aren't they more popular here? And, and my thought was maybe because you name them so badly. Um, but you came to a conclusion this afternoon that they taste just like... They taste just like cold water lobster. Yeah. The light. Absolutely this yummy. is going to be my new favorite, and it's unfortunate that it's seasonal, but we're going to make the best of it tonight. And now that we've got the, um, the the vegetables and the pouch and all of that out of our boil, in go the crayfish. Package number one and package number two. And this will only boil for about two and a half, three minutes max. Alrighty, back in three minutes. Okay, it's been about three minutes, and just like lobster, these are done when they turn red. <laughs> yeah, they're hot. <laughs> this is beautiful. And here we go. Is that it? Just a couple more. Okay. First wild pets running around in here. Okay, and you want these to cool? For a couple minutes, you don't want to burn minute, yourself. So, yeah, you don't want, they're awfully hot. They're good. Hot, but they're but hot. 
All right, so we're gonna let them uh, cool for just a little bit, and then we're gonna dig in and show you how to eat them. Okay, they've cooled off for a couple minutes, just a few, and they look beautiful still. So what are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna tear the tail off. I'm gonna show you how we eat them. Tear the tail off, just a little twist. Okay, you see the liver on there, just like a lobster. <laughs> my goodness. Oh, my goodness. And then, let's break the tail. It's kind of like, almost like a shrimp. Yeah, it's like a cross between a shrimp and a lobster, really. And then, just pull the meat out. Where's mine? Okay, we're in <laughs> All right, well, anyway, that's um, that's Crawdads, and this is going to be a new um, Valentine's tradition. Valentine's Day tradition because this is absolutely wonderful, and I'm so glad to be sharing this. Um, time to eat. Well, that didn't take long. <laughs>